At around 1965, the House of Seiko introduced their first dive watch. Safe to say, since then, they introduced thousands of dive watches. In fact, the mass majority, when they think of dive watches, they think of Seiko or Rolex. So it's a bold statement to claim this is the best under a thousand. Though in my personal experience, after handling hundreds of Seikos over the past seven years of collecting, I think the MM200 is the best you can buy currently. Now, what we have here is the SBDT-065 or the SPB-083, a special edition dive watch that's currently nicknamed the Marine Master 200 because of the K shape and aesthetic, it's very similar to the Marine Master 300. The term special edition means it was only manufactured for one year. Now, the only difference between this one within their lineup is the dial color. The special edition does come with a bracelet and an extra rubber strap, Though personally, I would throw it on a cool vintage brown strap to really make that blue dial pop. Now let's start with the most obvious factor when considering this watch, the blue dial. It's incredible. In fact, it's one of the most mesmerizing blues I've seen to date. It's sort of a semi-fume dial when it starts off black towards the edges and lightens up to a bluish green towards the middle of the dial. The way this blue dial plays in any lighting is incredible, and honestly, there's nothing bad to say about it. Now, in my opinion, blue is as versatile as black or silver dials. It will never be out of place with any attire. Though personally, I wouldn't dress it up with a suit, although this watch is a bit more elegant when it comes to all of the other Seiko dive watches. Now, let's move on to the case. The watch measures in at 43.6 millimeters with a case thickness or lack of at 13.5 millimeters. Now, the bracelet size is 20 millimeters, which actually factors into the wearability of this watch and also gives it strap change versatility. But of course, the most important factor when it comes to bigger watches is the lug to lug size, which measures in at 50 millimeters. Now the watch sits extremely well on the wrist. The watch has a 43 millimeter case, which gives it enough wrist presence. However, the 50 millimeter top to bottom mixed with a 20 millimeter taper helps it wear a lot smaller. Dare I say closer to a 41 millimeter in my honest opinion. Now the watch also has a thickness of 13.5 millimeters, which actually is not that thick when it comes to dive watches and it helps keep this watch comfortable on the wrist. One thing I realized is the gradient dial actually gives a visual effect that the watch is smaller than the spec sheet would suggest. Now the watch also has a 200 meter water resistance with a screw down crown at 4 o'clock, which when I actually think about it, I feel like having the crown at 4 o'clock when it comes to dive watches makes a lot of sense. Now the watch also has an aluminum bezel which is actually a positive and a negative for me personally. Now of course for the price point I would have liked to see ceramic for better durability. However that said ceramic would make it a bit too shiny and would distract away from this beautiful dial. Also with a little bit of imagination I think the ghost bezel would actually look pretty cool mixed with this beautiful blue dial. Overall, I think this watch is absolutely stunning. Though if I'm being honest, I would mainly buy this watch for that blue dial. But that being said, the 6R15 movement is not a bad movement. It does utilize the 6R15, so it's a better movement than the 4R. But there's a lot of 6R15s that are a bit more affordable. But that being said, you can't find anything with this blue dial. In my personal opinion, this is definitely one of the best dive watches you can buy from Seiko for under $1,000. It's beautiful, it's unique, honestly it's amazing. But guys, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you do so. We have a lot of really cool watches coming soon. As you guys can see here, I'm giving you guys a bit of a teaser of what's coming next. We have a lot of really cool watches. We're trying to focus on more unique watches here. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and click that notification button so you don't miss a single episode. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Make sure you check out exquisitetimepieces.com. They have a lot of really cool watches. They're an authorized dealer for many big brands such as Omega, Blopat, Breguet, Grand Seiko, and of course Seiko as you guys can see here. If you're interested in any of those watches, make sure you check out exquisitetimepieces.com. Also check out their pre-owned section. They have a lot of really cool watches at very good prices and you don't want to miss it. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.